Hello and welcome to Heatline's December video blog. When prospective customers first inquire about Heatline systems, they are surprised to find out that thermostats are not required to operate our product, but they can be purchased additionally as an energy efficiency device. Why would Heatline systems not require a thermostat? Heatline systems do not require a high limit device to prevent overheating. All Heatline brand self-regulating heating cable systems can safely operate without a thermostat control and without the worry of burning or the pipe melting, even if it is insulated and dry. Thermostats do not work in every application, as the required thermostat sensor cannot always be installed in the correct place. In applications where thermostats cannot be installed, the Heatline products have the unique ability to work solely with timers. So every application needs to be reviewed on a case-by-case -case basis to determine the proper control device. So then the question comes, what do I need? A thermostat? A timer? Or neither? A thermostat control operates by reading the external pipe temperature and duty cycles the heating cable on and off. The set point of the thermostat control determines the on and off cycles. As a result, the operation of the heating cable changes based on the heat loss or the outdoor temperature changes. Remember, for thermostats to be efficient, they must read external pipe temperature, not outdoor temperature. Timers operate heating cables based on interval time settings, which is repeated constantly and do not change with heat loss or outdoor temperature. While timers have many different settings, the standard starting point for most installations is 30 minute cycles at 50% which means the heating cable will be on for 15 minutes and then off for 15 minutes. This setting can further be adjusted as the customer learns their application and heating needs. For many short length systems, 50 feet or less, the electrical savings obtained from a control device are not always enough to warrant the purchase and installation of a control. Normally for these systems, users will opt out of using a control device, however, Always remember, if you want your system to be as efficient as possible, you must install a control device, even if the heating cable is only 10 feet long. If you have a longer system, then the consideration of a control device can greatly improve the energy efficiency of your heating cable, especially if you're in an area where the cost per kilowatt usage is extremely high, such as in the province of Ontario. Customers with thermostat controls and insulation have reported energy savings as high as 80%. I hope you found this vlog helpful in order to learn a bit more on the difference between thermostats and timers and when you would use one over the other. If you have any questions, we invite you to contact us to discuss your particular application. We will continue to release a new vlog video every month, so please make sure to sign up to our email newsletter, Facebook, YouTube, or other social media pages to stay up to date. Our newsletter and social media links can be found on our website at www.heatline.com. Thank you for watching.